If you've been on the hunt for some fresh new newsletter templates for your business or brand, you've come to the right place. Today, I'm gonna go through a couple of our new awesome newsletter templates. Please keep in mind, this is gonna be like five out of a multitude of templates that we have. So this is by no means all of the newsletter templates. We're gonna go over where to find them, how to pick one out that suits your business or brand, and then how to edit these templates to suit your needs. Maybe you'll even pick up some tips along the way that will help you create your own template. So let's dive in. On the Kittle homepage, if I click on the marketing category, uh, as I've expressed, we have some awesome new marketing material for you guys to utilize and a bunch of different categories. And if we scroll over, we can find the newsletter category. And this is stuff for like, you know, handouts, maybe a flyer, uh, something that you post in a window or something that you mail out. This is more so physical. These are physical newsletters versus an email newsletter. So if we scroll through, it's kind of hard. If you would imagine this on like a screen, some of this text would get pretty small. I mean, these two blocks side by side that's something where I would put this first and this would be under it and then this block and then that block under it so these are not necessarily for uh, a phone like email newsletter but think more physical newsletters and I've gone through and I've picked a couple of these I like this one here's the second one a third a fourth newsletter I love this one this one looks super awesome and this one as well. These are also super useful for something like a local magazine. Like if you wanted to get a newsletter in a local magazine and this was your little two page uh, feature for your little pastry shop or something like that. You could also kind of attach these to like an email as a PDF. If you wanna send an email and say, hey, I've attached our monthly newsletter that you've signed up for and you wanna fit kind of more information onto something without having to worry about it being uh, baked into an email, you can add it as a PDF that people can download it, read it, and, and be up to date on what's going on with your company or your services or your brand or whatever you're using these for. These are also good for, say something like this says right here, like an annual report. So if you're using this for like internal use as well, that's also a great use case. I'm gonna start with this one right here. This one makes me think of like a photography studio, like just a photographer that wants to keep her clients updated on some new things that she's doing to maybe like gain support or gain a following. So I'm gonna gonna come up with a fake photography studio name. So I'm just gonna say something like film by Jane. Today is June 4th. So we'll just say June 4 right there. And then this is the monthly newsletter at the same. And this is our first one. So we're gonna go issue one. Awesome. So another thing that is super helpful is this is set up with masks. So if I wanna drop something different in here, we can just go in here, release this mask. Boop, delete, and then we can drop our photo in here. So let's say I wanted to add a photographer of myself if I am this photographer named Jane. But for the purposes of this, we're just gonna find a picture of a photographer and we're gonna use this one because that looks like a film camera and fits the vibe. And we might size it up just a tad and get that right there. And then that fits our vibe for this newsletter. And we could replace this with something like, as you know, I love keeping my client up to date on the latest photography trends. In this edition, I've also included some of my favorite recent work. Boom, header and subheader done. Moving forward, and we could say the latest photography trend. And we get to line it like that because it breaks those lines up a little bit better. And we just need some text for this. And we can just say something like, in May, we boasted spring and its full colors on film. Film helps capture natural colors with a softer feel than digital, making sure the photos don't feel unnatural, which is pretty true. And we just need to find some photos. Obviously, if you were a photographer, you would put you're working here, so I'm just gonna find some photos, flowers, film, and see what that does. Cool, let's do this photo, this photo, this photo. And this is cool and weird, let's do that, why not? And we can just get these out of the way, and release mask, delete, release mask, delete. 
release mask, delete, and the last one, we can delete that as well. And just drop these photos into place. If you're creating a template of your own, I highly, highly, highly recommend utilizing the masks as opposed to just cropping photos because every single time you put a new photo in, you will have to crop it. And it's really difficult to make sure that it occupies the same space as the photo before did. Moving on to our second page, we could utilize this as like a couple spotlight or something. And let's just say that this is one of the photo shoots that she did and wanted to add this into her newsletter. Client spotlight, and then we'll fill in this text. So I just said, huge congratulations to Brad and Jen for getting engaged last weekend. Brad and I collaborated on staging the location of his proposal and ensured all the colors would turn out perfect for their photos. Yay, Brad and Jen. Woo, little client spotlight there. So why don't we say we keep this as an upcoming workshop? So we could change this from DIY social media to some photo editing and Lightroom basics. We could keep this as June 17th, 2035. <laughs> That's funny. We're gonna change that to 2024. And here we could just say, head over to the website to register on the event. Done. And let's get rid of this guy. And we'll do something that resembles Lightroom. That looks like Lightroom Classic, yeah, I think. So we'll add that right there. And I think this is awesome as well, a little limited time offer. Great thing to add in a little newsletter. Our little limited time offer here, we're offering $100 couples photography sessions every weekend this month. Use code COUPLE when booking a shot. Maybe on your website you have a little code part that they can put in when scheduling a photography session. And why don't we just say recent work? And we'll just keep this as Lorem Ipsum Tech. And I can delete this, 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 this. And I will just copy and paste this over here. And just like before, we can just go through and release the masks of these photos, get rid of all of those, and then find photos to fill these in with. This one is super fun. Another cool photo there, maybe some more flowers, a little abstract something. And this one is super cool for right here. And then it looks like it's got an awesome section for social media, email, and then a website right here as well that you could fill in. And just like that, I've been able to redo this template to fit my brand and create an awesome newsletter that I can use for multiple weeks and months to come. Okay, some of the other newsletter templates that I picked out as well. Let's look at, for example, this one. Like I said before, finding one with masks is extremely helpful. This one looks like another kind of maybe fashion or photography little newsletter. And if I click into here, it looks like these are grouped and I can click Command G to ungroup these. These are masks as well. So finding projects that have masks in it will help improve your workflow significantly and help make sure things are consistent uh, for each iteration of your newsletter, especially if you're not wishing to change it, if you want it to be the same every single time, just a little template that you can edit. But all of these elements are editable. I could come in here and ungroup this and change this text, change that one. Let's say I don't like that line, I get rid of that, I don't like that, I get rid of that, make it a little bit more uh, simplistic. And then let's say since I got rid of the line over there, I can get rid of this one as well, boop. Make sure these are grouped together and centered. That looks great. So each of these are super easy to just go in and change your text, change your colors, replace your images with whatever you need, ungroup that. This is a mask, boop, release mask. Can delete that and drop in my own photo. Got a cool little annual report here with a nice layout. I need to replace this photo, release that mask, drop my own photo in here. Let's say this is your company's building. Let's say I don't like this illustration. Boop, just delete it. I get rid of it. Looks like this background image has some texture. If I don't like that, I can just delete it and get my own little background in here. Maybe a little yellowish tan color there. And if I want this one to match, I can go over here. Echo that on this side. Replace my text, replace my images. Boom, my annual report is good to go. Awesome little newsletter here. Little illustration, text boxes. Let's say I didn't want this to be a pastry lovers, but I could say coffee lovers. I could delete this find a nice picture of coffee, select this guy, AI background remover, boom, perfect. Bridge this over, click in here, bonjour coffee lovers, boom, done. So with just a couple of clicks and making sure that you select your templates 
well based off of the use case that you need. You should just be able to replace your images, edit your text, maybe tweak the colors a little bit, and you're good to go. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below and like this video if you found this helpful. Remember that these are templates and templates are templates, but you can also create stuff from scratch or just heavily manipulate one of these templates to the point where it's kind of unrecognizable and completely custom tailored to you. I find templates helpful sometimes, but sometimes I feel locked in a box and want to create something completely fresh on my own. I would encourage you to do that as well and expand your design skills, learning how to do something from scratch. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any Kittle related content, tutorials, business knowledge, design updates, trends, and some more stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.